What is cybersecurity from a developer point of view? The risk assessment of life. The risk assessment of life. The risk assessment of life. Risk assessment. Step one, prepare for assessment. Derived from organizational assets. Step two, conduct risk analysis. Identify threat sources and events. Identify vulnerabilities and predisposing conditions. Determine likelihood of concur of occurrence. Determine magnitude of impact. Determine looks, risk. Step three, community results. Step four, maintain assessments. Establishing context. Initial step, determine the basic parameters of the risk assessment. Identify the asset to be examined. Explore, put political and social environment in which the organization operates. Legal and regulatory constraints. Provide baseline for organization's risk exposure, risk appetite, the level of risk the organization views as acceptable. Asset identification. Last component is to identify assets to examine. Draw on expertise of people in relevant areas of organizations to identify key assets. Identify and interview such personnel. Asset. Anything that needs to be protected because it has a value to the organization and contributes to a successful attain attainment of organization's objectives. Threat identification. Anything that might hinder or prevent an asset from providing appropriate levels of key security services. Threat sources. Threats may be. N no. Threats may be natural acts of gods, man made, accidental, or deliberate. Any previous experience of attacks seen by organization also needs to be considered. No. Evaluation of human threat search should consider motivation, capability, resources, probability of attack, and deterrence. Vulnerability identification it identifies exploitable flaws and weaknesses in organizations, IT systems, or processes. Determine applicability and significance of threat to organization needs. Combination of threat and vulnerability to create a risk to an asset. Outcome should be a list of threats and vulnerabilities with brief descriptions of how and why they might occur. Analyze risk. Specifies likelihood of occurrence of each identified threat to an asset given existing control. Specify consequence should threat occur. Derive overall risk rating for each threat. Risk equals probability threat occurs. X cost to organization. Hard to determine accurate probabilities and real realistic cost consequence. Use qualitative, not quantitative ratings. Analyze existing controls. Existing controls used to attempt, attempt to minimize threats need to be identified. Security controls include management, operational, technical processes, and procedures. Use checklist of existing controls and interview key organizational staff to solicit information. Security control, an action, device, procedure, or other measure that reduces the risk by eliminating or preventing a security violation by minimizing the harm it can cause or by discovering and reporting it to enable corrective action.
control classifications, management controls, operational controls, technical controls. Management controls focus on securities policies, planning, guidelines, and standards that influence the selection of operational and technical controls to reduce the risk of loss and to protect the organization's mission. These controls refer to issues that management needs to address. Focus on security po policies, planning guidelines, and standards at the influence selection of operational and technical controls to reduce the risk of loss and to protect the organization's mission. These controls refer to uh, that issues that management needs to address. Operational controls address the con the correct implementation and use the secure use of security policies and standards ensuring consistency and security operations and correctly identifying operational deficiencies these controls relate to the mechanisms and procedures that are primarily implemented by people rather than system they are used to improve the security of a system or group of systems Tactical controls involves the correct use of hardware and software security capabilities and systems. These range from simple to complex measures that work together to secure critical and sensitive data information and IT system functions. Involves the correct use of hardware and software security capabilities and systems. These range from simple to complex measures that work together to secure critical and sensitive data information and IT systems functions. Control classification, supportive controls, preventative controls, detection, and recovery controls. Supportive controls, pervasive, generic, underlying technical IT security capabilities that are interrelated with and used by many other controls. Preventative controls focuses on preventing security breaches from occurring by inhibiting attempts to violate security policies or exploit a vulnerability. <clears throat> Detection and recovery controls. Focus on the response to a security breach by warning of violations or attempted violations of security po policies or the, identified, or the identified exploit of a vulnerability and by providing means to restore the resulting lost computing resources.
security plan implementation. IT security plan documents what needs to be done for each selected control, personal responsibility, time resources, and time frame identified personnel. Implement new or enhanced controls may need system configuration changes, upgrades, or new system installation may also involve development of new or extended procedures need to be encouraged and monitored by management. When implementation is complete, manager, management authorizes the system for op operational use. Implementation follow-up. Security management is a cyclic process consistent, constantly repeated to respond to changes in the IT systems and, and the risk environment. Needs to monitor implemented controls. Evaluate changes for security implementations. Otherwise, increase chances of security breaches. Includes a number of aspects. Maintenance of security controls, security compliance, checking, changing, change in configuration, management, incident handling. Maintenance, 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 need continued maintenance and monitoring of implemented controls to ensure co continued correct functioning and appropriate. Goal is to ensure controls perform as intended, periodic review of controls, upgrade of controls to meet new requirements, system changes do not impact controls, address new tr threats or vulnerabilities. Security compliance audit processes process to review security processes goal is to verify compliance of security plan use internal or external personnel use based on use to checklist which verifies suitable policies and plans were created suitable selections of controls were chosen that they are maintained and used correctly often as part of a wider general audit. Physical and infrastructure security, logical, logical security, physical security, and premises security. Logical security protects computer-based data from software-based and communication-based threats. Physical security, also called infrastructure security, protects the information systems that contain data and the people who use, operate, and maintain the systems. Must prevent any type of physical access or intrusion that can compromise logical security. Mm -hmm. she... yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Annoying. 
Premises security, also known as a corporate or facility security, protects the people and property within an entire area, facility, or buildings, and usually required by laws, regulation, and fiduciary obligation. Provides perimeter security, access control, smoke and fire detection, fire suppression, some environmental protection, and usually surveillance systems, alarms, and guards. Physical security threats. Physical security situations occurrences that threaten information system. Environmental threats. Technical threats. Human caused threats. Technical issues. Electrical power is an es- is essential to run equipment. Power utility programs, under voltage dips, brown- brownouts, outages, interruption service, over voltage, the surges, faults, lightnings can destroy chips. Noise over- on power lines may interfere with device operation. Human cost threats, less predictable, designed to overcome prevention measures harder to deal with, includes unauthorized physical access, information assets are generally located in restricted areas, can lead to other threats such as theft, vandalism, and misuse, theft of equipment slash data, eavesdropping and wiretaping fall into this category, insider or an outsider who has gained unauthorized access, vandalism of equipment slash data, misuse of resources. Physical security prevention and mitigation measures. One prevention measure is to use is the use of cloud computing, inappropriate temperate temperature and humidity, environmental control equipment, power supply, fire smoke, alarms, preventative measures, fire mitigation, smoke detectors, no smoking, water, manage lines, equipment location, cutoff sensors, other threats, appropriation, technical countermeasures, limit dust entry, pest control. Mitigation measures, technical threats, uninterruptible power supply, UPS for each piece of critical equipment. Critical equipment should be connected to emergency power source like a generator. To deal with electromagnetic interface space, EMI, a combination of filters and shielding can be used. Mitigation measures, human threats, physical access control, restricts building access control, areas patrolled or guarded, locks or screening measures at entry points, equipped moving resources with a tracking device, power switch controls by a security device, intruder sensors and alarms, surveillance systems that provides recording and real-time remote viewing. Most essential element of recovery is redundancy. Provides for recovery from loss of data. Ideally, all important data should be available off-site and updated as often as feasible. Can use batch encrypted remote backup for critical situations A remote hot site that is ready to take over operation instantly can be created.
Physical equipment and damage recovery. Depends on the nature of damage and cleanup. May need disaster recovery specialist. Physical and logical security integration. Numerous detection and prevent prevention devices. More effective, there's a central control. Integrate automatic physical and logical security functions. Use a single ID card, single step card, enrollment and termination. Central ID management system. Unified event monitoring and correlation. Needs standards in this area. FIPS 2011 personal identity verification PIV of federal employees and contractors. Awareness to seek 